this video, we're going to be going over this two way Y hose connector. I've got some videos coming up that I'm probably going to need a couple of water hoses. So I figured that, Hey, why not head over to my local Harbor freight store and see if I can find me a Y hose connector. A quick look at their website shows 4.2 out of five stars. However, some people are saying poor quality. They're bringing it back. The gasket is junk. Cheaply made. Ah, well, it is seven dollars. Leaks badly. Oh, hope not. It's hard to twist. Oh, I hope that's not true. Poor quality. And they go on. Well, let's go outside and see if they're true. Alrighty. So we're outside. Let's open this um connector up and see what's going on. A lot of you guys are probably wondering why I open things the way I open them. The reason being is because I have a cast on, right? Uh, so it's kind of difficult to open certain things. The reasoning why I have a cast on, you'll have to see in future videos. I'll explain it why, it's just right now, I can't explain it, but I promise you guys, once uh, everything is cleared, I'm able to. I will be uh, explaining why I have the cast on. But hopefully, this week that should be coming off. Alrighty, so here we go. Everything. The casket looks nice. Closed in, closed in. Looks like a uh, plastic top to turn it. I don't know if I can put my channel locks on there to tighten on the grip, but. Um, Hopefully I won't need to. If I need to, I'll get my channel locks out and I'll tighten it, but hopefully it'll just be finger tight. So let's go over to the water hose and see if it works. Let's pick it. I still can go a little more. It's getting tight. So that's finger tight. Like I said, if I need to get my, my channel locks, I will, but let's see. Let's see what it does where, with finger tight. All right, let's turn the motor on. So we do have a, we do have a leak from the side. I'm wondering if I get my channel locks for that, will that stop? So let me go turn the water off and get the channel locks. And we'll come back and see if that leak stops. All right, so I just gave it a fully tightened seal by uh, screwing it tight with my channel locks. So let's see if that uh, fixed it. Looks as if it's still leaking from that top gasket. Let me see if I open up what happens. So, 
when both of these valves are open, we don't get the leak. However, when it's closed, we get the leak as you gotta see. So I would definitely think that's probably the gasket inside is not as uh, strong as it should be. Um, I'm probably still gonna keep it because I got some future videos where I'm gonna need, um, you know, the hose, the hoses. But uh, would I recommend it? Probably not, but at least you all get to see what you're working with if you're thinking about purchasing this. All right, as always, thanks for watching the videos. Be sure to like and subscribe for future videos. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.